Kia ora, Bronson Perich, welcome to the Chrysalis. Uh, we're here in my new studio, which is my van. Um, a few things that come into mind. I want to talk about there's two things that I don't really hear coming out of the internet space right now. These two things are not spoken about, but they need to be. And the reason that they're not being spoken about is because the truth often doesn't sell. You know, it's easy to want to know the truth, but then it's hard to apply the truth. So, let me be specific. The number one thing that is not being spoken about in the internet marketing circle is the changes that have happened to the internet over time and those that were able to start marketing on the internet before and as those changes were taking place. Let me show you what I mean. About 16 years ago, the dot-com bubble burst. So, for the young'uns, this is what happened. There was a whole lot of tech companies that were started up in the late 90s, and they were all internet companies. And because the internet was this relatively new thing, and it had become commercialized, people using it for home, people using it for business, all these companies were popping up left, right and center to take advantage of the new opportunities that the internet could, have, could offer us. The majority of those businesses died. This is what happened, right? Because of the hype surrounding the internet, Wall Street investors were very excited about these companies, they threw a whole lot of money at them. So their share prices went like this. But as time went on, hype gave way to reality. And the reality was, the internet was still in its infancy. It was difficult to do business on the internet in 1999 and 2000. Because everyone was using dial-up modems. Yeah, maybe if you were super rich, you had a, a DSL modem. Maybe if you were super rich or you were part of the government, you had a fiber optic connection. But the majority of people were still just dialing up. And so what this meant is that though the internet had great potential in 1999 and in 2000 and in 2001, there wasn't really the means to take advantage of that opportunity. What do you think happened to all these tech companies? Should do that again, eh? They went down. They died. Now, one of the people that did good during the dot-com era was a certain billionaire named Mark Cuban. And the way that he was able to do it was that he sold his tech company to CompuServe for a massive amount of money. In other words, he had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and he took advantage of it. Which is why now he's able to spend the rest of his life investing and doing what he does. Because he had that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If you look into Mark Cuban's life and his business activities, you'll see that quite a lot of his ideas, though they were great ideas, they just didn't, for whatever reason, they just didn't happen. But because Mark Cuban was able to cash out when everybody was running out of cash, he was set for life. Mark Cuban is one of the few people that survived the dot-com bubble. But it's around about those people that either survived the dot-com bubble or were able to start marketing online from between 2001 to 2006 that are doing it good today. Now, I know. I can almost see in my mind's eye the doubt, the whole, what does this guy know about? He's just a dude in his van talking to a camera. Trust me on this. If you pay big money and you meet Frank Kern, ask him. When did he start? He'll tell you. Early 2000s. Ask any internet marketer that is doing well today when they started. The multimillionaires, they started with around about 2001, 2002. Just after the dot-com bubble burst. Right? And then, after that, they were able to take advantage. They were in the perfect position to learn and to acquire a long-lasting base of customers. Think about it. If someone's been in business since 2002, they've already got 14 years on you. 
The only way that you'd be able to emulate their success is if you took a time machine, went back to 2002, and started doing what you're doing now. That's the only way. Because here's the thing. This is what nobody's talking about. The internet has grown exponentially. The viewership of the internet has grown exponentially. The amount of time that we spend on the internet has grown exponentially. And the devices that we use to access the internet has grown exponentially. In 1999, people would have like one computer in their house of that. Right? In 2006, maybe people would have a computer and a laptop. 2016, one computer, one or maybe even two laptops, maybe even three, depending on how many kids there are in the house. But everyone in that house has a phone. And most of those phones can access the internet. Now, there's a lot of people that will use buzzwords and say, hey man, the internet is growing exponentially. There's so many opportunities to make money. They're actually lying to themselves. Because there's one thing that they're not saying. The market is saturated. There are so many people that are marketing online. What are you going to do to stand out? There's only two things that you can do. One, do what Ty Lopez did. Throw a whole lot of money on a whole lot of advertising. And then eventually people will know you. Maybe people will buy. Or two... You've just got to start where you are and slug it out. All of the genuine, proper internet marketers that are doing well, they all did that. They started from the bottom, they worked their way up, and they were able to either anticipate or cope with the changes that came along. That's how we have to do it. There is no magic bullet which brings me to another thought. Why do you think people are selling all these magical solutions? All these turnkey systems? Simple. Because you want them. There's too many of us that are trying to have the success without the effort. It just doesn't work, man. That's why we gamble. We either gamble to entertain ourselves. Because deep down we think that we actually don't have what it takes to be successful. So we just throw money into a machine, hoping that somehow, some way, we'll win. Or two, we just don't want to put in the effort. That's it. But that doesn't work. Because the market is saturated. You've got to be so on point in your game. You've got to be so sharp in order to stand out. You know? Who knows how many people... Would have watched this video in a year's time. Maybe a hundred. Maybe a thousand. Maybe ten thousand. I don't know. But I'm making it today. So that I can get ahead of those that start tomorrow. And that's what you have to do. Start today. To get ahead of those that start tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bronson Perich. Welcome to the Chrysalis. Bye bye now.